In the heart of a chilly February, it was probably not the best idea to take a group of seven-year-olds snowshoeing. However, we went on this field trip anyways. One boy in particular, and for the sake of this video, I will call him Thomas, was not having it. He lagged behind the group and started to break down crying. He did not want to be here. He was very cold, hungry, and super frustrated with his snowshoes. He kept screaming and asking why he had to do this, and no matter how many times I replied with to have fun and look at the nature around us, he would not listen. The first strategy I used to try to get him to calm down was using a concept we learned at the positive interaction training called if-then. When using this, it is important to make sure that you give the child an appropriate incentive. Instead of saying something like, if you stop crying, then I'll give you a piece of candy. This can lead to other children wanting candy as well, and it is better to say something along the lines of, if you keep walking, then the faster we get back on the warm bus. However, in this case, this motivation wore off in a few minutes. The next strategy I utilized was a concept we learned in class about relatedness. Relatedness is feeling connected to each other and feeling like you matter to other people. I used this concept by making sure that Thomas knew that he was not the only person struggling with the shoes. I kept reminding him that everyone else was also in the same boat, including myself and the other staff member, so he knew he wasn't alone in this. It can be very frustrating, especially for a 7-year-old, to feel like they are the only one not able to do something. With this idea of relatedness, I was able to connect him to his peers and myself. This really seemed to help his self-esteem and motivation to keep on trudging through the snow. The final strategy I used was using the appropriate type of praise. When Thomas was starting to get the hang of snowshoeing, I made sure to tell him things like, good job with keeping your feet straight like that, keep going, instead of praise that bluntly say good job or that he's really smart. It was very important for him to know which parts he was doing right so he could keep doing it. Once he finally got the hang of snowshoeing and calmed down, I told him to focus on the nature around him like the snow and the birdhouses and the trees to distract him from the cold. For many instances, you may have to use more than one strategy, like how I did with Thomas. It takes a lot of work, but it's worth it.